I need a cigarette. <laughs> it's Friday, and you know what that means. Yesterday was Thursday. <laughs> so let's welcome tonight's guest. This Southern Belle puts enemies in deep fried hell. Co-host of the bottom line on Fox Business. <laughs> Army Corps of Engineers helped design his mullet. Co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend and host of this year's Patriot Awards, Pete Hinton! <laughs> wow, he is tan. Not to brag, but she also has multiple indictments. Fox News <laughs> contributor, Katu! <laughs> and finally, even his biceps have biceps. My massive sidekick, and I'm WA World Heavyweight Champion, Tyrant! All right, before we get to some new stories, let's do this. Greg's Leftovers. Mmm. Don't you love this? It's Leftovers, where I read the jokes we didn't use this week, and as always, it's my first time reading these. So if they suck, I'll beat Joe Mackey with a pillowcase full of oranges until his <laughs> face is unrecognizable, and they'll need dental records to identify his body. <laughs> Here we go. Justin Trudeau and his wife are separating after 18 years. Yeah, it just goes to show the challenges of an interracial marriage. <laughs> Hold on a second. We have focused on his face and not the thing to our left. Do you see what, do you see what's, I've, I've been looking at, uh, Tyrus, correct me. That's a man sticking his tongue out. Yes. <laughs> Right? I, I like, I, this is now a, I, we've been making fun of this blackface photo for years, and just occurred to me, there's something else going on here yep. that we've totally, totally it's, ignored. I never ignore. Yeah. I always pay attention to the background. Yeah. Because that's usually where the killer is. Yeah. So, <laughs> in this case, that we, was where the creepiness was about to begin. You know what? That explains the divorce. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's move on, shall we? Hmm. Detroit police found over 100 cats at the home of an elderly man after they received complaints of a pervasive urine smell. <laughs> Turns out it was the cats who called the cops. <laughs> it's not our fault. Squad member Ilhan Omar appeared at an event Tuesday night to celebrate her state's legalization of recreational cannabis and shared the story of the time she got so high she married her brother. <laughs> Just a joke, although she never corrected that. This week, a truck spill covered an Arkansas highway in nacho cheese. Yeah, too bad this didn't happen in California. They could have called chips. All right. All right. Yep, yep. All right. Shout out to Eric Estrada and John Wilcox. Potch, I know that. Singer Lizzo is being sued for harassing her plus-size backup dancers who allege she pressured them into eating bananas protruding from strippers' vaginas. Ugh. It's a shocking allegation that any of them were eating fruit. <laughs> yeah. The complaint also says Lizzo was reinforcing the worst stereotypes about the plus size dancers when she should have been reinforcing the stage. <laughs> <laughs> the chairwoman of the Somali Athletics Federation is under fire after her unqualified niece lost a 100 meter dash by 10 seconds. <laughs> She's also under fire because it's Somalia. <laughs> That's how you tell a joke. <laughs> During an episode of The View, Whippy Goldberg detailed the challenges of having sex in a pool. Meanwhile, her ex, Ted Danson, said their relationship was a challenge, trying to avoid pool. <laughs> <laughs> Still, she says she prefers pools over sex in the ocean because she doesn't need to worry about anybody throwing harpoons. <gasps> oh, you know, that's too far. That's too, I disown that. But keep the joke in, because it's good. <laughs> 
Dwarves in the film industry are complaining about Hugh Grant being cast as an Oompa Loompa in the upcoming film Wonka, specifically that CGI has been used to enlarge Grant's head. In fairness, he's more famous for getting a little head. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> the anniversary's coming up. Never forget. After spending more than 14 grand for a custom made collie costume, a man in Japan transformed himself into a dog. To celebrate his achievement, he drank some champagne out of a toilet. <laughs> and he says the best part about being a dog is that now no one cares when he licks his own balls. <laughs> A 33-year-old woman broke the uh, Guinness World Record for the world's largest mouth, which prompted a special phone call from Bill Clinton. <laughs> the benefits of a mature audience. <laughs> A recently conducted survey had asked people what makes the perfect sandwich. And the only correct answer is a woman. <laughs> it's a compliment. <laughs> All right, to the news. Trump's support enlarges after more bogus charges. And the support Trump is getting has Obama sweating. Yep, after another round of indictments for everything from obstructing proceedings to removing the tags from mattresses, <laughs> Trump's numbers just continued to rise. The more indictments and witch hunts, the greater his chances of winning the Republican nomination for president, a Grammy, an Oscar, and an Emmy, and ultimately the White House in 2024. I've done the math. If he gets invited, indicted one more time, he'll be more popular than Barbie. <laughs> And it's not just me saying it, although that would be enough reason to believe it. Even Barack Obama is scared that Donald Trump could win another term. And usually the only thing that scares Barack is Michelle. <laughs> In late June, Obama reportedly had a private lunch with Joe, which is rare. Joe usually only eats lunch with a nurse or people who want to bribe him. <laughs> Apparently Obama was pretty shaken up telling old Joe he was concerned about Trump's political strengths his loyal following, and a Trump-friendly conservative media ecosystem. Joe was so alarmed, there were a few moments when he actually seemed to recognize Obama. <laughs> and Obama said Trump could be a more formidable candidate than many Democrats realize. He then said he had to get home before Michelle notices he's gone. <laughs> then you got the polls showing no sign of the Trump support waning. Even Mayor Pete can't slow down this train. The latest New York Times Siena College poll shows Trump widening his lead over Ron DeSantis. Ron is so distraught, he's thinking of sending himself to Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> 54 to 17 percent among likely Republican primary voters. No one else even comes close. But that's only because yours truly hasn't announced. <laughs> no, no. Too many skeletons in this closet. <laughs> and I mean real skeletons. <laughs> and the cherry on top of Trump's best week ever, that Devon Archer hearing detailing the Biden camp family corruption. Remember that old thing? It happened five days ago. But time flies when the Democrats are indicting their only challenger over speech. Yeah, talk about timing. It's about as coincidental as a drug dog sniffing Hunter's luggage. <laughs> and as Joel Pollock points out, Trump's first impeachment should be vacated because the Dems violated the rules by not allowing Republicans to call their own witnesses, which may have included Devon Archer. Not to mention the fact that Trump was proven right on that perfect phone call. So all this spells out Trump's best week ever. The only thing that could make it better is a sale on self tanner and another two or three indictments. <laughs> Pete, your mullet looks great. Thank you. Uh, you're well tanned. You're, uh, you. I love your boots and your little pocket square. <laughs> uh, everything about you. Is this a critique? Yes. Thank Should you. they vacate the first impeachment? I know they won't, but it seems like there's grounds for it. It certainly does. And you, you talked about the phone call. The phone call was about, shouldn't you look into this Biden guy? Yeah. And these deals that they're doing over there? Remember, 
Trump was talking about, remember when he started saying, where's Hunter? Yeah. I mean, that was early on. I don't where's know. If it's Hunter? 20, where's Hunter? Yeah. And, and no one knew who Hunter was. Yes. Um, who's Hunter? But he knew. I yeah. mean, inside, it, it was an open secret inside Washington, D.C. This was a dirty, double-dealing family. Right. And they, and they, found, they stumbled their way into him because Obama chose him in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And then he became their candidate. They did a bunch of deals when they think he wouldn't be a candidate. And now they're stuck with him. Yeah. Uh, and it, 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 when it comes to Trump, though, what was it? Investigation. It's all eyes. Investigation, impeachment, indictment. Wait until they imprison him. Mm -hmm. Wait, if you think his poll numbers are high now, try that. That's where they want to go on yeah. this, inevitably. Yeah. Uh, so it is, a, it is a good week for Trump for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, it tr it's true. We could have, talk about the greatest finale of any movie ever, Dagan. The president gets elected in jail, and they have to come and... <laughs> they have yeah. to come and unlock him, and, they, and he goes, yeah, I pardon myself. <laughs> <laughs> Up he goes. What do you think? He clearly, like the more his adversaries, his enemies, even his competitors go after him, the tougher and the stronger he's getting. It's like cosmically they're in pumping him full of peptides and human growth hormone and mm -hmm. Mountain Dew. Yeah. All at the same time. Mm. And I, I just think about it, it's the old adage. Well, you just wrote this book, Show Don't Tell. For this man to march again into a courthouse and hold his head eye high with fortitude mm -hmm. and, and really rally not just the people who support him, but his family. Yeah. And that speaks more than his Republican uh, competitors who are like, in the face of adversity, I will be really fierce when I have to face our enemies. I, that doesn't, saying that means nothing. Seeing it says it all. Right. And again, at least one of the Republican nominees has never stood up to a ham sandwich. Yeah. You're talking about Vivek <laughs> because he's a vegetarian. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, <laughs> he is. You know, Kat, I said once before, and I like quoting myself. I know you do. Yes. This election isn't between <laughs> Trump and Biden. It's Trump versus the entire political establishment, the machine that fixes everything from indictments to impeachments to elections. What say you? Uh, I think you, my, the same poll that you cited with Trump and DeSantis, to me, the thing that stood out the most was that in a head-to-head -head between Trump and DeSantis, Trump got 22% even, quote, among voters who believe he has committed serious federal crimes. <laughs> yes. Which is still bigger than the 17% DeSantis gets overall. Right. So they prefer a criminalized I've Trump. I've been saying for months that DeSantis is not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Everyone keeps trying to make him happen. He's like Jeb Bush 2.0. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what's happening here. People want him to be a thing. He's not going to... He's not it sucks, though, because he's a great governor. And I think, I think that... he got too involved in the culture war stuff, man. Yeah, maybe. I think people, you know, the economy is an issue, stuff like that. He got weirdly obsessed with the Disney thing, the oh, culture war stuff. thank God I'm not stuff. like that. <laughs> yeah. I... Next up, trans attacks. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um... No, you're not. <laughs> <sighs> Tyrus, what Greg. do you make of this week? Uh, it's a it's a bittersweet week. Uh, I think Joe Rogan, who's not would never be, I would say, framed as a Trumper. Yeah. Uh, talked about the how shocked he is at what's going on and how it's making people support Trump that normally wouldn't. And that's the thing is the the mainstream media wants us to all think that these huge numbers are coming from his base, it, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's coming from people who relate. Mm -hmm. who see this, who are tired of this, because whether you like him or not, he's changed things. He's, it's transparent now. Now when we make jokes about you buy one of Hunter's horrible paintings, and if you buy enough of them, eventually you or one of your kids who never amounted to nothing will get a job at the White House, an ambassador or whatever. Like, that's how it worked. And that was the microcosm. That's how all the things worked with China, Ukraine, Romania. It's the same thing. You, buy, you give him a big salary, he tells me who paid, and then I will influence or give you jobs for you. That's, that's how the whole system works. Trump didn't do that because he came out saying, I don't need your money. I remember yeah. when you tried to give me money. You you try to give me money. Yeah. You still owe me money. Yeah. So, <laughs> and so he changed things. So we're seeing 
they're, they're so hyped over him that they're literally putting journalists on the street corners like prostitutes waiting for a Trump car to go by yeah. so they can get a look. Ha! I mean, it's literally what it's come down to. And all that is all that is doing is galvanizing everyday people who normally don't care. are like, this is outrageous. There was an opportunity in this for the president to be a president because if he was truly concerned about the American people and keeping democracy, you have the trial after the election. What's yeah. the difference? What's it going to make? Yeah. And if it came out of Joe Biden's mouth. But the problem is, it's not about getting him convicted, because they're going to get one. Mm -hmm. That's why there's so many. The, one, the two I'm concerned with is the one in Georgia and the one in New York, because they're, they're not federal. Yeah. So you can't pardon those ones. The other ones, that they could be pardoned. But there was an opportunity for him to say, let the people decide. But he knows if we're not talking about this, all his laundry with Hunter is all out in the street, and we all see it now. And yes. the whole week confirmed it. Yeah. It's like uh, Devin Archer testimony, indictment. Yep. A uh, plea deal falls apart, indictment. I mean, they're, they're not even week, shy anymore. They're not even hiding it anymore. Yeah. All right, we got to move on. This uh, looks like spray on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a two for one sale. All right. he, he's got Indian orange in his here. family. Whereas orange is the sign. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.